Hi, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the eighth uh, U.S.-Iraq Higher Coordinating Committee session. It's my honor to introduce Secretary of Spl State, Antony Blinken. Well, good morning, everyone, and so good to see you all here today. Um, before getting to the uh, HCC, let me just comment briefly on the events of the last few days. Uh, over the weekend, as you know, Iran launched hundreds of missiles and drones against Israel. This was an attack unprecedented in its scope and uh, in its scale, in its scope because it represented the first direct attack by Iran on Israel, and in its scale because, as I said, there were more than 300 munitions fired, including ballistic missiles, uh, as well as land attack cruise missiles and drones. Uh, thanks to Israeli air defenses, as well as support from other countries, including U.S. military assets, uh, virtually all of the incoming projectiles uh, were destroyed and shot down. Uh, as President Biden underscored to Prime Minister Netanyahu, the U.S. is committed, committed to Israel's defense. Uh, and I think what this weekend demonstrated is that Israel did not have to and does not have to defend itself alone when it is the victim of an aggression, the victim of an attack. In the 36 hours since, we have been coordinating a diplomatic response to seek to prevent escalation. Uh, strength and wisdom need to be same, the same sides, the different sides of the same coin. Uh, I've been in close uh, communication with counterparts in the region, and we will continue to do so in the hours and days ahead. Uh, we don't seek escalation, but we'll continue to support uh, the defense of Israel and to protect our personnel in the region. Now, for today, uh, let me say how pleased we are to welcome our Iraqi colleagues here to Washington, uh, and I'm particularly glad to have the Deputy Prime Minister here with us this morning to kick off what is the second U.S.-Iraq Higher Coordination Committee with the Sudani government. Uh, we just had an excellent meeting uh, with Prime Minister Sudani. I'm grateful to him for uh, receiving us this morning, and of course we look forward to a meeting uh, shortly between uh, the Prime Minister and the President. But I think everything we're seeing today highlights the importance, uh, the value we attach to the relationship between the United States and Iraq, uh, a partnership that's genuinely 360 degrees in everything that it covers uh, in bringing us together. Um, Prime Minister's visit to, uh, to Houston and to Detroit is another indication of the breadth and depth of the rela relationship, not only between our countries, but also between our people. Uh, through the HCC and the meetings today, we are working to strengthen and expand that 360-degree partnership. We're focusing on a half a dozen issues, including energy security, uh, democracy, the rule of law, climate and water. Uh, the American private sector remains very interested in engaging, uh, in investing, in lending its expertise to Iraq, especially when it comes to energy. Through these efforts, we look forward to helping advance the Prime Minister's affirmative agenda and seeing Iraq succeed. So uh, this HCC carries forward the vision of a long-term relationship of cooperation and friendship that was laid out in the 2008 Strategic Framework Agreement. Our, our mission today, our goal today, is to make concrete progress on that vision, to continue to transform it into reality, and a reality that benefits people in Iraq, benefits people in the United States, benefits people in the region. And with that, it's a great pleasure to welcome Minister Tamim uh, and to have you here today. Mr. Minister. In the name of God, the most merciful, the most gracious, ladies and gentlemen, uh, peace be upon you, 
all of you. Your Excellency, Secretary Tony Blinken, the Secretary of the United States, Department of State, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to express my gratitude and thanks for the warm reception. And I hope today we'll achieve uh, results that will be in the interest of both nations. Excellency Blinken, the higher coordinated committee, committee that is an ensuing meetings of these, on the side sessions that will contribute in transform, transforming our relationship, strategic relationship, to a different phase that will activate the strategic framework agreement that will align with the services government led by our Prime Minister of Sudan, where we are intending to reform financial and political uh, policies and to work, go towards to energy independence, conduct uh, partnerships with the regional countries and the world. Your Excellency Secretary, the United the Middle East today is living exceptional circumstances that has repercussions on our nations, and we hope escalations and tensions in the area will end. The government of Iraq is warning about escalation and the area to be dragged into a wider war that will threaten international security and safety, and therefore we call on all parties for self restraint and to respect the rules of diplomatic work and also international uh, laws. And we seek that these sessions, it will be the beginning of putting the foundations to work effectively on, through this higher uh, committee so that uh, we'll, on, go, we'll continue our ongoing uh, bilateral relations and meetings and we're going to focus on energy, investment, education, climate change, health, transportation, and water, and also to strengthen uh, democracy and human rights protections. And this is the new launching of a new phase to implement the articles of the strategic framework agreement. The government of Iraq is working to, for the prosperity of the Iraqi people at the same time to pay the debts of the Iraqi, country, uh, Iraqi nation, and especially when it comes to the different phases of the energy sector and use new technologies and modernization of our energy sector to reduce also pollution. The Iraqi government is widening its partnership and conducting agreements so that we'll be able to, for example, use technologies to capture flaring gas, to create and achieve uh, independence in energy, and also to invest in other resource sources of energy, including renewables and solar energy. The Iraqi government is also seek, government seeking to diversify Diversify its economy through activating the domestic industry and the governmental enterprises to adopt a profitable model to make the uh, Iraqi economy open to the international market by inviting tourism, agriculture, and also creating industrial hubs and zones that will really push Iraq to a prosperous economical horizon with the partnership with the United States and the European Union and other friendly countries to incentivize our economy and to adopt a new economy that is dependent on free market and in investing in major industrial projects. To conclude, all I can say is to reaffirm our recognition and appreciation for the joint and mutual uh, efforts to take our relationship to a different phase and a different uh, page of partnership between the two friendly nations. Thank you, Secretary Blinken and everyone here present. Thank you and peace be upon you all. And thank you, Mr. Secretary and uh, Mr. Minister for your remarks. If I could please ask the delegations to stay seated while they depart uh, and invite our press colleagues also to depart the room. Thank you to our press colleagues. Thank you.
And I have some additional logistical information for our working group delegations.